Well, it's from 40 odd years, it's been the most interesting one I've ever had. <laughs> so it's been, uh, yeah, a good eye opener, and um, that's what it's been. Why, why it's been the most interesting one? Um, I don't really want to go too much into it, but I mean, we're obviously waiting on players to try and get players in, you know, two days before, which has obviously been a bit of a struggle, trying to. You know, uh, get a few loanies in to try and help us a little bit. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much where it's been. Coach, never mind. It's still early days, but uh, a fixture against uh, the newcomers. Would you say uh, it's quite a good match to start with, as opposed to have started perhaps with the, your traditional big teams? Well, it's a league. It's a league within the league. So we've got our own league that we're going to compete in, which is, and I think Sukukuni will be in that league with us um, and we're obviously going to try and do well in that league. In the mm. other league, inside the league, we, you know, we, we, you know, we won't compete with so, I mean, you don't need to worry about that. Let's worry about the league within the league. And the you know, team like we plan on Saturday is certainly going to be there with us. And people keep on saying, will Gavin Hunt last at Chippa United? I mean, that's one team where even three games in the season, you know, they are notorious for firing coaches. Uh, how do you still answer that? Because like it just doesn't go away. Will Gavin Hunt last that cheaper? Well, you just had a coach lost one game. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I don't have a contract. So why have a contract? Just let's go. Let's give a go at this thing, and we will do it. We'll do it properly. And already in a couple of weeks, we've set a lot of things in place, which have you know made the eyes open, and um, you know things have happened. But uh, there's a lot. There's a lot more still to do. Coach, to that point, you have a, uh, familiar faces. Jose and uh, Roy are there. Having Jose's them? not there. Oh, Jose's not there. No. Okay, so, so Roy's there. What, how does he help you get your system and what well, you Roy, want to get across? Well, Roy at the moment is putting numbers on jerseys. Yeah, so he's helping, you know. He's, he's from top to bottom. <laughs> and he's that type of man. He'll get his hands dirty and we need a... a you know, I cannot believe nobody took that man into a football club last year. He's, mm. he's the most underrated person in football in South Africa and clubs would thrive to have a guy like him. Coach, you mentioned you know still players coming in. One of the players coming in, Parker. Parker. Palamani Matlamba. Oh, pa <laughs> not 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 that Parker. Yeah, Parker. Um, uh, Parker, yeah, Parker's there. Um, obviously, hasn't played for two years, maybe. Condition is not good. Um, time to resurrect career. Can he do it? If he wants to, I can only take him so far. And if he wants to, he's been good. Two weeks now we've had him. Um, yeah, he can add a little bit of, but he obviously needs players around him to play what he needs. But we can only, as I said, that's it's like a little puzzle. We're putting everything together on a daily basis. And today, right now, I'm trying to do a deal two or three now. Yeah, when you promoted him from from the academy at, at, at Vets, you boldly said, you know, he, the next best thing since since Benny. Um, what 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 do you think has gone wrong over the years? Or gone uh, yeah, it's all it's well documented off the field, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we need to get that right. I mean, it's something that's you know, he had the, he had the world at his feet. He got to move from from bits to Alakli, mm. which is the next move is into Europe. Mm. Yeah. It's just obviously, but the problem is, you know, when you go to the clubs like he went to, you get isolated there in a hotel room and language and everything else. Uh, and that's something we need to do when, when we get foreign players come to this country. We got to take care of these people, and you need a little bit of care. And maybe it wasn't handled properly, but obviously it was out of our hands at that stage. And uh, and then he went to Sundowns, and you know, obviously there with the size of their squad, you'll get lost. And maybe that's what's happened. And let's have, give him a chance. But he's got a great chance now with me. You know, it's crazy see. though. He's still only 23, and, and so much happened. Well, that's the problem. And what is he experiencing as a 23-year-old? I mean, goings and comings has been unbelievable. So let's see, resurrect him. You know, we've got Nagele there with me. You know, play for me. You know, even on one leg, he can still do a job. I think uh, Rodney. You know, you know, run all day. So you know, we'll be there. But we need, as I said, every little piece I need to fill in. Yeah, and Ngele, Ngele, in terms of having, <coughs> I mean, you won the league with him at best. Mm. Is he the same player? Is he different? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's three, four, three or four years older. Obviously, missed a lot of football, but he's slowly. He's been two weeks now. Only two weeks. You know, he's trying to get him back. He hasn't played much, but he's got the quality. He can play the pass. And if Pagamani's fit and he's fit, you've got half a chance, you know.